Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Matthews. I'm here at Montclair State University in the Exercise Science Lab to show you how to do urine-specific gravity using a refractometer. All right, all you have to do is take the refractometer, you're going to open up the top, and you're going to put two to three drops of urine using a, a transfer pipette right in there's a little like sort of circle hole in uh, underneath the glass of the refractometer. All right, so make sure you get it onto that hole and then you're going to close the lid back over and you're going to see that the urine gets kind of spread out across that piece of glass on the top of the refractometer. Once that happens, you can then take the refractometer, hold it up to your eye, like imagine it's sort of like a telescope, and just walk underneath of it, some sort of bright overhead light. All right, so make sure that you are under a light because it's going to use that light to um, shine through the liquid um, and so it's easy for you to see what the specific gravity is. All right, so again, Walk under the light, look into the refractometer like it were a telescope, and then you're going to look for some different scales on the refractometer. On this particular refractometer, the specific gravity scale um, is on the lower left hand side. So all you're going to do is look at the um, lower left scale where the specific gravity is and look for where the black line goes across the scale and read off the scale. And that is the specific gravity of the urine. All right, so if for some reason there is not a very distinctive black bar, um, I would just sort of open up the refractometer, clean it off, and then start over again. And usually that means you maybe got a little air bubble or it didn't completely cover the glass with the urine, um, something like that. But if you just start over again, it will typically work the next time around. All right, so once you've finished the measurement and you've written down your value, you can then open the top of the refractometer, take some sort of tissue like a Kim wipe, uh, something that's not going to leave any dust particles behind because you don't want to affect the next measurement, and soak up all the urine that you put on the device. Once you've done that, you can clean off the device with an alcohol swab and simply wait until the, the alcohol is completely evaporated before storing the device or trying to use it again. All right, so that's all it takes to clean the device and get it ready for the next time. Be sure to also clean off the countertop underneath wherever you were working in case any urine got spilled. So urine-specific gravity is really good for assessing hydration status. Typically, uh, any value above 1.020 is considered dehydrated. All right, so you can see here that I ran three different um, urine samples, two of which were dehydrated, one of which was um, well hydrated. The sodium levels within these samples uh, matched up with the uh, specific gravity measurements. So the dehydrated samples had higher sodium levels. The um, normal hydration or even uh, hyperhydration sample uh, had lower sodium levels. All right, so sodium and other electrolytes in the urine is going to be a lot of what makes up the solids within the urine affecting its specific gravity. All right, so that was a real fast overview on how to do urine-specific gravity using a refractometer. If you have any questions or comments, you can put those in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you. Otherwise, please come back and watch another video. Thanks.